Swimming through English. Understanding. Swim some laps. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're diving into a common English phrase, swim some laps. Whether you're a beginner or looking to polish your English skills, this video will help you understand not just the meaning of this phrase but also how to use it in different contexts. So, let's get started. Swim some laps might sound straightforward, but it's packed with meaning. Firstly, swim is a verb that means to move through water by moving the body or parts of the body. Now, what about laps? A lap is one complete length of a straight course, usually in a pool. So, when we say, swim some laps, we're talking about swimming from one end of the pool to the other and back again, usually multiple times. This phrase can be used in various ways. For example, in a literal sense, I go to the pool to swim some laps every morning. As a form of exercise, my doctor suggested I should swim some laps to stay fit. Metaphorically, sometimes, swim some laps can be used metaphorically to mean trying something repetitively or practicing. In English-speaking countries, Swimming is a popular exercise and recreational activity. That's why you might hear, swim some laps, quite often. However, the phrase can vary in different cultures or regions. For instance, in Britain, you might hear, do some lengths, which means the same thing. When learning this phrase, be careful not to confuse, laps, with, lapses. Lapses means a temporary failure of concentration or judgment, which is entirely different. We hope this video has clarified the phrase, swim some laps, for you. Remember, understanding such phrases not only enriches your vocabulary but also helps you grasp the cultural nuances of the English language. Keep practicing, and soon you'll be swimming through English with ease. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next video.